morning, everyone. I am going to call our Tuesday, February 15th, Common Council meeting to order. Megan, will you take the roll, please? Davis? Here. Went? Here. Written? Here. Bartz? Here. Lift? Here. Wagner? Here. Schmidt? Here. Wetzel? Here. Romling? Here. Very good. And if you would please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Mm -hmm. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Indivisible, All right, the first item on our agenda is the minutes of the council meeting from February 1st. Any comments or questions on those minutes? All right, next we'll go to comments and suggestions from citizens present. If anyone in the room would like to comment, you can come up to the microphone by Alderperson Davis. Or if anyone remotely would like to comment, please mention so now. All right, we do have an opportunity at the end of our meeting as well. We have no public <coughs> hearings. Uh, under reports, you have the Finance Committee from February 7th, Public Works from February 8th, the Airport Commission of January 12th, Historic Preservation from January 19th, the Library Board of December 9th, Licensing Board from February 9th, the Main Street Program Board of Directors from December 14th and January 18th, Park Rec and Forestry from January 7th, the Redevelopment Authority from July 21st, August 31st, October 6th, October 28th, November 15th, and January 26th. And just a note on the RDA minutes, um, we, as you guys know, have had some transition in the finance department. So the previous person who tracks them did not have all of these minutes checked off on her spreadsheet. Um, but it is my understanding that many of these have already been submitted. But just to cover bases, they submitted, resubmitted all of them to you. Okay. Thank you. Any comments on any of those minutes or reports? All right, we have no old business, so then let's go to communications and recommendations. Um, our first item is employee recognition, and we do have uh, a handful for this evening. I'm gonna first acknowledge the people who were not able to join us. Um, one is Captain Randy Johnson from the police department. He's been with the city for 25 years. Uh, Tony Lenius with water, he's been here also for 25 years. Deb Gerstner from the police department with 20 years. And then we do have um, two people joining us this evening. One is here now, and if the other one appears, we'll hop back to it. So um, please join me, Chief, and Assistant Chief Olson. All right, he was so looking forward to this today. <laughs> he said, is there any way I can bail tonight? So uh, I said, no, it's an obligation of the job. So Ben has been with us for 15 years. Um, I remember Ben selling me, he still doesn't remember this, he sold me window blinds at Menards because that was his, like one of his jobs. I'm just glad I didn't mess it up. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> sold me blinds. So during his time with the department, Ben has been an officer, uh, a detective, sergeant, captain, and now his current position with us is the assistant chief, so he's been in that role for a few months now, six, seven months, yeah. So, Besides all those other positions, Ben has taken on many other responsibilities throughout his career. He currently is an instructor in defense and arrest tactics. He's a ballistic shield instructor. He's a handgun instructor, a rifle instructor. Um, he's been a member and been in charge of our crowd control and our entry team and is still involved in those things pretty actively. Um, and Ben is a lifelong resident of Watertown, a Watertown High School grad, graduated with our mayor and a few other city employees that we have currently. So with that, I'd just like to say thanks for 15 years. And I won't be around for the next 15, but I'll be around for a while. So <laughs> thanks. Thanks. And then our other um, team member this evening is Susan Brack with the library for 10 years. Susan was going to attend. so. If she pops in the room, we will hop back to that agenda item. Um, our next item is committee appointments. And for your consideration is appointment for Alderperson Davis to the Finance Committee and the Main Street Board. I'll move for Thank you. Motion by uh, Wetzel, second, second. by Schmidt. Um, I'm chuckling because your name tags aren't facing me. And I realize how often I must read them, <laughs> which is kind of weird. So. Um, uh, just as an FYI, before we take the vote on this one, um, with, you know, one of the nice things about having new members to our team is they've brought new things 
they've questioned why we do certain things. Um, the city attorney is attending remotely if anyone has questions on this one, but the long and short of it is um, committee appointments with the exception of a few like police and fire plan commission, um, those dictated by statute, don't need to be approved by the council. And this I did not know. So we wanted to just complete the process with Alderperson Davis so that people weren't wondering why hers didn't come before you all. But then going forward, what I feel like I at least should provide is a report to you all of who those appointments are. So for me anyway, while I'm here, I'm, I still, I don't technically have to, but I still intend to at least provide you a report of who I appoint to any board or committee. So if anyone has questions about that, um, the city attorney can answer those for you. Uh, it will, frankly, actually provide us some efficiency because we have people that don't get to attend meetings and vote um, because they wait for a council meeting to get approved. So if you have any questions, let us know. But otherwise, we'll make that change. But for today, we're, we're still going still gonna to vote. So all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? All right, very good. Our next item is an update regarding the Main Street program. So I'll invite Ms. Lampy to the podium. We can pass them around, yeah. Thank you. All right. Watch that cord, Jim. He could have just handed it. That's okay. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. Thank you. Anyway, Good evening, my name is Melissa Lampe. I'm the director of the Watertown Main Street Program and our offices are located at 519 East Main Street. So thank you for your time this evening. I wanted to uh, come and share some updates of things happening in 2022 and some great highlights from 2021 that occurred in our downtown. Uh, so you have a newsletter and a downtown highlight sheet that's being handed around. Um, I'd just like to share that last year, we saw more than $650,000 invested in private building improvements downtown. We gave away $14,488 in Main Street program facade grants. Seven new businesses opened. 15 special events drew approximately 12,000 people to the downtown. And 600 volunteer hours were donated to Main Street program events and activities. We saw phase one of the Main Street Plaza project completed. We had beautiful new Christmas decorations that adored, adorned the downtown and South Church Street. That was a project cost of $25,000 and 100% of the funds were donated. We saw, um, well we didn't see, but we know that planning advanced on the town square. We'll start to see that those plans come to fruition in the spring. And of course the Watertown Library readied for its 20, uh, January 2020 expan 2022 expansion and now they are open and that is a beautiful facility. Um, earlier in 2021, we were excited to uh, learn the Chic Boutique won a Best Facade Improvement Award through Wisconsin Main Street. Sharp Corner Park won for Best Public Improvement Project. And Hayes Family Auto Dealership won for Best Adaptive Reuse. So I hope in 2022, we'll see some great uh, announcements from Wisconsin Main Street for other projects in Watertown. Um, our Facade Grant window is open now through March 31st. So if anyone who owns property or a business within the Main Street Program District is interested in applying for a facade grant, they can contact me or download the application from the Main Street Program website. And again, that window closes March 31st. And I'd like to invite everyone to attend our Main Street Matters annual meeting. That will be on Wednesday, March 23rd at 6.30 p.m. at the library that's in the newsletter here. And that's where we'll have our board elections, we'll give a state of the downtown, there'll be a couple of presentations, and it's a great opportunity for people to network downtown and get to know their neighbors. That's all I have, thank you. Okay, thank you. Make a note of that one for March 23rd, that's always a good meeting to join. All right, we have no new business, let's go to the accounts payable. Madam Mayor, I move to pay all accounts payable. Thank you, motion by Romley. All second. Second by Wetzel. <laughs> Discussion on the accounts? Megan. Ronline? Aye. Davis? Aye. Went? Abstain. Written? Abstain. Bartz? Aye. Wag or Licht? Aye. Wagner? Aye. Schmid? Aye. All right, let's go to miscellaneous business then. You have the payroll summary from January 12th to 25th, the reserve balances ending December 31st and cash and investment from December 31st. Any comments or questions on any of those reports? All right, then let's go to licenses. We have just one for this evening. This is an application for a temporary Class B license for Luther Prep. 
uh, Booster Club for their Luther Prep auction and gala. This is on April 23rd from 4 to 12, 4 p.m. to 12 a.m. Is there a motion for this license? I'll make a motion. Thank you. Approve. Motion by Wendt, second by Bartz. Questions from anybody on this one? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? All right, that motion carries. We have no ordinances, so let's go to resolutions. Our first is Exhibit 9346. This is a resolution to award the Riverside Park Restroom Design Project to Thrive Architects. This is here from Alderman Licht and Park Rec and Forestry. I'll move 9346. Thank you. Motion by Licht. Second. Second by Bartz. Questions on this one? This is exciting. <laughs> yeah. All right. Quick question. Oh, it, it says the uh, restrooms were original with the park. When was the park? Um, from what I've been told, and Melissa might know better than I, from what I've been told, it was a post-depression project. So okay. the... Pre-war? 30s, late 30s. 30s. Anyone know any different? Okay. That's my level of awareness Thank of you. that one. Thank you. <laughs> any other questions? All right, Megan. Licht? Aye. Wagner? Aye. Schmidt? Aye. Wetzel? Aye. Romley? Aye. Davis? Aye. Wendt? Aye. Written? Aye. Parts? Aye. Motion passed 9-0. to zero. Thank you. I will say on that one, we did a, a poll on that, a, you know, not like a statistically driven scientific poll, um, an informal poll on social media and over 90% of respondents were in favor of that project. So I think it's, it's, a, it's a big milestone for us. All right, our next is Exhibit 9347. This is a resolution dissolving the branding committee and this is here from me. Madam Mayor, I'll move for that. Thank you. Motion I'll by second. Romlin, second by Wagner. The um, resolution says it, says the reasoning. It, I think we've, we've seen the use of the committee um, I feel comfortable putting it on your agenda because I'm the one that asked for it to be created when I was an older person, and you might have actually been on it with me. So, any questions from anybody? All right. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? All right. Very good. Our next is Exhibit 9348. This is a resolution to update our payroll resolution for the Strategic Initiative and Development Coordinator from Grade L to Grade M. This is here from me and the Finance Committee. I'll move to approve. Thank you. Motion by Wagner. Second. Second by Bartz. Discussion on this one. Reason for the upgrade? Um, so we reevaluated the position. Um, this was the first year we had it, so we've done that with others. Once we create it, we evaluate it after we've been through a year of it. Um, and so we sent it to Carlson Detman and it came back um, at a higher grade. Okay. As long as we see a good ROI for it, then that's oh. fine. Yeah. If, if not, then we can always downgrade them later, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, any time that we should should this position ever be vacant, any time we come back before to hire someone else, we have to get permission to hire that person. So there's a stop a stop gap for that if yeah. we ever need it. But uh, this is, is the joint complaint I get on. Sorry. So what's that? Anytime we have an increase, I always get questioned. No, I, yeah, why? That's so. fair. Um, and this is a position that we share with the RDA, so it's okay. predominantly funded by the RDA. Okay. I think it's like seventy thirty. They fund it. Any other questions on this one? Megan. Wagner? Aye. Schmidt? Aye. Wetzel? Aye. Romling? Aye. Davis? Aye. Went? Aye. Written? Aye. Bartz? Aye. Licked? Aye. Motion passed 9 to 0. Very good. Next is Exhibit 9349. This is a resolution to approve change order number one for the final 2021. Interurban Trailhead Site Work, Contract 6-21 with CJP Excavating. This is here from Alderman Wetzel and Public Works. I will move from 9349. Thank you. Motion by Wetzel, second by Romline. Any questions on this one? Again. Wetzel? Aye. Romline? Aye. Davis? Aye. Went? Aye. Written? Aye. Bartz? Aye. Licked? Aye. Wagner? Aye. Schmidt? Aye. Motion passed 9 to 0. Very good. Next is Exhibit 9350. This is a resolution to endorse an updated highway functional classification system map for the city. Again, from Alderman Wetzel and Public Works. I'll move for 9350. Motion by Wetzel. I'll second Second, that. second by Written. You got me on that one. <laughs> Any questions or discussion on this one? Are you fine with voice? There's no money. 
We can take the roll. Just in case, sometimes DOT requires funny stuff. So let's take the roll. Wetzel? Aye. Romley? Aye. Davis? Aye. Went? Aye. Written? Aye. Bartz? Aye. Licht? Aye. Wagner? Aye. Schmidt? Aye. Motion passed 9 to 0. All right. Next is Exhibit 9351. This is a resolution to add a fourth polling location to the city and adjust the polling locations for the aldermanic districts for the April 5th spring election and then all subsequent elections. This is here for me and the Finance Committee. Mayor, I'll move for 9351. Thank you. Motion by Licht, second by Bartz. Questions or comments on this one, Mr. Wetzel? I don't know if this is part of this, but reading, it said the state, or not state necessarily, but it recommends we send out letters to the constituents. Yes. Have we done that or are we doing that? It would come after this passage. Okay. So we need your permission to add the sure. new location and make the adjustments and then we are planning to mail to every registered voter. Is that right? Every registered voter or household or household. registered voters. Okay. Thank you. Got it. So if, so like in my house, it, we'll just get one letter from my household yeah. instead of my husband getting one and me getting one? It's going to be... Either or. Either or. Okay. Yes. I'd just like to say that this is the question I get the most, and the change is going to take that question away from me. I have, on the northwest side where I live, I have had dozens of questions from mostly older folks about why they drive past a polling place at MATC <laughs> all the way downtown to vote. <laughs> and this is going to change that, and it's a, going to be a big blessing for them. So I'm, I'm glad to see it. I appreciate that. Um, Megan and Mark did a, a lot of legwork. And Peg was um, agreeable to, and gracious for us to move to the new room. So this, I mean, there wasn't you know a ton of wins in the whole redistricting process. But this was definitely one of them. Get people in a location closer to where they live, less people coming into one building. So I agree. And I know it was no small feat. So. You know, hire people, just put them to really important things like switching election locations right away. <laughs> are we going to do more than just send the letter out, too, to make sure we have multiple avenues yeah. of information? Because there's a lot of people are going to show up and be like, well, I voted here forever. What right. did that change? So Yeah, so, I mean, as you know, we do a lot on social media, and then we'll send a press release, and we'll post one to our website, and then they'll get it in the mail. So Okay. I don't have any doubts that there'll be confusions, yeah. at oh, yeah, least for <laughs> April and August, and hopefully November. We'll yeah. My district change, that's what I was asking, so. Mayor, yes. are they going to update the map so that they know that they can see it on the website? Yes, because I'm glad I've had you mentioned a lot that. of people asking me about that. I'm glad you mentioned that. So we will be, um, we have the Where Do I Vote tool as well that we just rolled out. So it wasn't that long ago, Mark. We just rolled that out, I think, since I've been here. So in the last few elections. So once this is approved, we'll update the GIS system. So where I vote will be updated, and then the, the maps will be updated as well. And I should not I should include Andrew in that too. Andrew, by our assistant city engineer, has been really critical in getting all of this redistricting mapping piece completed as well. It's been a, it's been a good team effort on this one. Other questions or comments? All right, Megan. Lick? Aye. Wagner? Aye. Schmidt? Aye. Wetzel? Aye. Rumling? Aye. Davis? Aye. Went? Aye. Written? Aye. Bartz? Aye. Motion passed 9 to 0. All right. Let's go to our last then. This is Exhibit 9352. This is Resolution to Review and Take Action on the City's Debris Management Plan. This is here from Alderman Rumline and Public Safety and Welfare. Madam Mayor, I'll move for that. Motion by Rumline. Second. Second by Went. Questions on this one? I'm just curious, who uh, is the point, the top of the, who heads us up? Uh, the chief, the fire chief. Thank you. I was going to say, if you have questions, Tony might answer them. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, we're moving the such, so. Yeah. So Craig is, as the fire chief, he's also our emergency management director. So he is the person who facilitates these plans getting um, completed, and then he he kind of runs it through all the appropriate departments for them to provide insight. So obviously he's not the one moving the debris, but is that what you're asking? Who produces these? Uh, who, who's the head? Who, who's running it? The chief. The emergency management director? Yes. Is the fire chief. chief. Thank you. Yeah. So this is actually just a clarifying line of effort for those specific events where he would be in charge versus normal operations. So in the so this will go into our emergency management plan, which the state 
requires that we produce, and we did not um, have a plan to this degree for the removal of debris. We certainly have done it. Obviously, we remove debris in every natural yeah. event, all storms. And, but to my knowledge, this is the first time we've really said, and you, Mr. Schmidt, are going to bring this equipment, and you are going to make sure you have the saws and that level of detail. Okay. Anything uh, you want to add to that? If you do, will you come to the microphone? Thank you. Yeah, I just want to say it's just basically a guideline of saying who's going to come and do what in that event of emergency. And then the total point of contact would be the fire chief since he would manage that whole situation. Okay. It just kind of helps streamlines it during those events. Okay. Is, is this part of that, the testing we all had to do? Is that all part of that? Ding, ding. Yep. It takes it down to a very granular level. In other words, there are, at some point in time, you need somebody to haul the trash away. It gives you a listing of the people that can do that, and it gives you a model of the contract that you can use to do it. So it, it, it not only says what to do, it says how to do it, and it provides the tools to do it. It's a very comprehensive document. Yeah, we, Craig's put a lot of effort into getting these plans complete, which I'm thankful for. Mm -hmm. Anybody else on this one? All right, let's take a voice vote on that one. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? All right. Next is comments and suggestions from citizens present. All right, seeing none, I would ask for a motion to adjourn. I'm a motion second. by Written, second by Schmidt. Oh, I didn't see it. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? All right. Thank you, everybody. Get your